Despite everything going on in the world around us, let these next 15 to 20 minutes be a place where you can escape and talk about the good that is coming, and that is the PlayStation 5. The PlayStation 5 was revealed in full detail yesterday. We were given the system design pictures, which looks awesome. Uh, we were given the system storage information. There's two different editions. There's the digital edition and the standard edition. I will go over both of those things. We were given a nice look at the controller, an in-depth look at it, all of the controller features, as well as some games. Some new games that are coming out, first images, first looks, first trailers, and some games that are going to be, which are currently on PlayStation 4, making their way to the PlayStation 5 as well. This right here is going to be a video talking about everything you need to know about the PS5 so far. Hit that like button, subscribe, push this video out there. Go nowhere. Else. Everybody talks about when it comes to a gaming console is the look. And that's the first thing that we saw. We saw images the past couple of weeks and months about the PlayStation 5, nothing official. But we finally got a look yesterday at what the PlayStation 5 actually looks like. And now I want to make a mention that I'm very biased. Um, I've never been, you know, I never hated Xbox. I just hated how people that played Xbox acted. Um, I'm going to say that right off the way. And that's not everybody. Um, you know, years back, PlayStation was always to me. Well, not to me because I always played it, but I felt like it was, it was living in the shadows of the Xbox. And it was for many years. Uh, Xbox 360, to my honest opinion, annihilated the PS3. And then the PS4 came out. And the ties started to turn. And the PS5 looks beautiful. The design looks very awesome. There's two different editions that the PS5 is going to come out with at launch. The first one is the standard edition, which is the regular image. And then there's the digital edition. What is the difference? The digital edition does not have a, 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 uh, a disc uh, insertion area because it's digital only. Now, there may be more things to review and research in regards to it, but from what I know right now, those are really the only differences. Uh, two different editions. Digital is going to be strictly digital download games. Um, for a lot of people, not everybody, but for a lot of people, digital uh, downloads have become more popular in, in recent years. Uh, just because, A, well, first off, people are very lazy. And second, people just love the idea of being able to download, preload, and just have the game ready to go the second it launches. Because we all know that when it comes to PlayStation games in specific, I don't know about Xbox, when you get the game and you get home at midnight after the midnight release, you probably aren't playing it for a couple hours. It also depends your type of internet connection because for certain games, you have to download it, then you have to install it, and it's just a pain in the ass and it's a long process. Everybody's different, everybody's internet speed is different. But the digital edition will be an, 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 an uh, interesting thing for people. I don't know if the price is gonna be different. Now, as far as the system price goes, um, there's no official announcement of it, but I can tell you that I would bank on what I say about this. The unit is, it costs $450 to make. So obviously when, when PlayStation does a unit, I don't expect them to, to sell it for that price or lower. I think at launch, the PS5 is gonna be $500. That's what I think. Now they were very ballsy in, in previous years with the PS3, they elected to have the PS3 be $600. Um, for those of you that are uh, at that point, you may as well buy a car at that point. You can buy a, a crappy car for $600 uh, with three wheels instead. Um, I'm going to go with $500. I think that after it starts to die down, I don't think it's going to die down, but I once the system is, is moving slowly and all the hype from, from the beginning releases died down, I think they're going to probably move with $400 consistently. That's just what I think. It uh, doesn't make it right, but I would bank on having about five or 600 ready for the PlayStation 5 come launch. As far as me, the standard edition is exactly what the console looks like. It has a disc insertion. Um, as far as the differences, that, those are the only differences that I know between the standard and digital edition. The storage. Now, I actually had to look this one up. Good and bad. Good because it's more than what the PlayStation 4 came with. Bad because it doesn't seem like it's enough. The storage for the PlayStation 5 at launch, from what I'm told, is 825 gigabytes which is much better than 500, but it isn't that that much better. Uh, we know a lot of games now are, are, are large in size and download, and there's one game that has affected all of us. It's been Modern Warfare, especially Warzone. Warzone, I swear to God, on my system, took three damn days to download because, well, I mean, I think I have good internet, but again, some people, it's a lot faster. But for the uh, Modern Warfare uh, thing of it, it took... I swear to God, three days to download. 
it took three days to download um as far as everything else goes uh, 825 is okay. I think it should have been minimum a terabyte. Uh, I don't really know what the number 825 comes out to be. I don't know who decided on that number, uh, but it's supposed to be 825. The price, again, not official. Now, let's talk about the controller, um, what is going to be titled the uh, DualShock 5 controller. Now, in terms of the controller, I think they did a great job yesterday of kind of showing off the controller and what it is that we can expect from the controller. Uh, I'm going to go over some of these things. Uh, some of you don't know what it is. A lot of you do. Uh, a lot of you that are watching this have been gaming for years, so you know and understand these things. But if you don't, the first thing that the controller is going to have is haptic touch. Now, what exactly is haptic touch? Haptic touch is um, basically the controller's response to you. And this is from what I'm told. So the best way for me to kind of describe this would be, let's consider that you're playing Fight Night and you suck because you do suck at Fight Night. Let's consider you're playing Fight Night and you get hit in the face. The controller would have a, almost like a vibration-like response to that. Uh, that's one of the things that was told there. Adaptive triggers is something that's very similar, meaning the R2 and L2 button. The best way for me to describe this would be picture yourself in Horizon Zero Dawn or playing a game with a bow and arrow. As you wind the bow and arrow back, you're going to feel that. You're going to feel that the tension on the controller. You're going to feel kind of just the, you, you're yourself committing the action. Um, you know, winding an arrow back, you're going to feel that. I don't know how great that's going to play out, but we're going to see. Obviously, the USB port. Now, the USB port looks a little bit smaller on the PlayStation 5 controller, and I think that that's a better thing. I wasn't a big fan of the USB on the DualShock 4. I thought it was a little bit kind of just bland and boring. And one of the things I want to make mention of, too, um, I'm assuming just because it's an upgrade, it's probably going to have it. Uh, but as far as the, the battery life goes, the DualShock 4 battery life was about three and a half minutes. It was absolutely terrible. Um, and I hope that the DualShock 5 is a much better battery life. Again, sometimes it's hard to notice, but I constantly recall my DualShock 4 battery controller dying. Um, and it's just a really, really obnoxious. So if there's one thing that I can tell, it's hopefully the USB port fits and looks well on the controller and the, um, and the battery life is obviously much better. Motion sensor. Now, when I think of motion sensor, I think of PlayStation Move. In my honest opinion, some people will think differently. I think PlayStation Move was a complete failure. I think the idea behind it was great, but at the same time, Nintendo Wii developed the same thing years earlier. PlayStation tried to jump ship and, and kind of just develop their way into it, and I think that it was really bad. Um, but think of it as motion sensor. I don't know exactly how that's going to work for certain games, but we all know what motion sensor is. It's moving your controller and your, your game following suit. Uh, we will see how that goes. A built-in microphone. Um, is another thing that's going to be on the DualShock 5 controller and an integrated speaker as well. Uh, we had the, the microphone that was in the PlayStation 4 controller. I didn't think that, if I can nitpick, I think that the quality of the, the audio uh, built-in microphone for PS4 was not that great. But I will say it was one thing that was really cool. Uh, the, the way that I remember it is it was constant annoyances in GTA 5, uh, which we're going to talk about GTA 5 shortly. Um... You know, the integrated uh, speaker and the built-in microphone. Hopefully, the audio quality is a little bit better. Um, but as far as the um, the audio quality goes in general, um, I think I think when you first started, and I think a lot of people can relate to this, when you first started your PlayStation 4, the, the audio that came out of the controller was so loud. I, I literally, I, I, it, was, it was nauseating. Um, but that's another cool thing as well that's going to be coming back. And here's uh, last but not least... A headset jack um, of course you know you have your headsets now from what I'm told the ps5 is gonna come with headphones but we obviously know that these headphones are very low quality um, and you know they might be a little bit better than the ones that were on ps4 but as far as the um, headset or, or excuse me the the headphones that come with the PlayStation 5 I would not bank on them being very good um, so for those of you that are heavy into your games, you will most likely and have to buy a headset. Do not rely on headphones that come with the console to have you feel a unique sense of gameplay um, as well. Now, we're going to talk about the games now. now we're not going to talk about every game. So we're going to talk about the games that caught my eye. And I'm going to kind of give some advice for those of you that need to be put onto new games. We were given a showcase of a lot of different games yesterday. Some first showcases. And we're going to talk about the graphics. Uh, the best game for me in terms of the graphics was 2K21. NBA 2K21 obviously is going to be on the PS5. We were shown Zion Williamson, which I'm going to have in this video as well. We were shown a picture of Zion Williamson as sweat dripped down his face. Uh, quick, uh, you know, visual gameplay, which I'm not going to put on this video 
just because I think this is going to be one of the more successful videos and I do not want copyright. Um, I don't think they, they usually don't get you too much for images, but for visual, actual gameplay, uh, that's where it becomes tricky with YouTube. So I'm not going to put um, any type of, of physical gameplay. You can look that up, but the graphics look phenomenal. It just looks like a complete upgrade from PS4. More attention to detail, light reflecting on different things. It's just awesome. Uh, 2K21, we saw Zion Williamson, for those of you that don't know, he's a young star in the NBA that has a very bright future. Horizon Zero Dawn, Forbidden West. Now, for those of you that don't know, Horizon Zero Dawn was a game basically where you're free roaming as this lady who has all these different weapons and you're going against robotic like dinosaurs. And let me tell you this right now. I'm not one of those people that play the single player games and that's something I want to get into more. Horizon Zero Dawn was one of my favorite games of all time. If you're one of those people that have never played it, you have to go and play it. It is so much fun. There's so much to do. Um, it can be a little bit difficult at times, but it's a very, very fun game. And it's definitely a game that you need to check out if you're a gaming fan and you like those type of games. If I can put you onto any game, it's Horizon Zero Dawn. Why am I talking about Horizon Zero Dawn? Because we saw gameplay of the next Horizon Zero Dawn, which is called Forbidden West. And the gameplay looks great. I think Horizon Zero Dawn is going to be a game that looks great on PS5, particularly with graphics and just all those kind of things um, as well. Now, GTA is the bit of a question mark. I saw a lot of people actually kind of upset about this. GTA 5 is coming to PS5. Now, here's the thing. From GTA standpoint, they did this because they know that GTA 6 is not done yet. And a lot of people are saying, well, we're getting GTA 5 on PS5. And basically, that's GTA's way of saying we're going to throw more DLC out there and we're not going to get GTA 6 for years. I think GTA 6 is coming. It is coming. And it is coming to PS5. But it's not going to be at launch. I don't know if it's going to be 2021 or 2022. It might be 2021 um, from what we're told. So basically, GTA 5 is coming. Um, but that's going to be another interesting thing to see, you know, as far as whatever the game offers. But GTA 5 is, is a game where you can really test out your graphics and just different things on your console. Um, and they're also announcing from what I'm told that leading up to the PS5 launch of GTA 5, every player will get $1 million per month on GTA 5, which is cool because GTA 5 prices for different things and objects have gotten way out of control. I don't play it as much as I used to, but it's definitely a fun game to play when you're bored. And another game I'm going to talk about is a game that I absolutely love the first time I played it, and that's Resident Evil. This game is called Resident Evil 8 Village. And if there's any gameplay that you need to watch from the, the reveal yesterday, it's this. This looks absolutely insane, and I cannot wait to get my hands on it. I, my first Resident Evil game was Biohazard. I thought it was scary. I thought it was fun. It was very difficult for me because I didn't know Resident Evil games. Um, but I had so much fun with Resident Evil Biohazard. Um, and then 2 and 3 came out. I never really dove into those. But let me tell you something. Another game you got to get your hands on is Resident Evil. There's a couple of games on here. Obviously, I get my yearly sports games. Horizon and Resident Evil really grabbed my eye, especially Resident Evil, because the, the, the trailer that was shown for Resident Evil 8 Village was just amazing. It's like you're in the middle of nowhere, and there's these different... There's these people that are coming after you. It's just so cool. I, I honestly... The, I think PS5 did a great job with the reveal yesterday. Obviously, you know, they're not giving us too much price information yet but i'm so excited for all of these games and hopefully by then i'll have a much better setup and i could actually start streaming these games you know i do fortnite and things on the channel now but i haven't done anything too crazy uh but i cannot wait to play resident evil and obviously horizon as well and a bunch of other games that have not been announced spider-man as well I never really dove too much into the spider-man games but that was announced as well uh, so many great things. If you guys want to see any of it, just go look it up. I don't mean to sound like rude when I say that, but go look it up. Uh, I did my best to kind of summarize the things and key points that people would be interested in um, in terms of the PlayStation 5. I can't wait for the PlayStation 5. You can't wait for the PlayStation 5. And it's going to be very difficult for Xbox to top this.